Hello and welcome to this review of Private Internet Access, a reliable VPN that's been around for a long time. My name is Mauricio and I run Cloudwoods.net, the biggest and best source for in-depth software reviews on the web. Over the next four minutes, we'll be going over one of the most famous VPNs out there and outlining its pros and cons. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, Please like and subscribe, and if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get a notification once we release new videos on this channel. Now, let's get started. Private Internet Access, or PIA as most people call it, is a pretty famous provider as not only has it been around a long while, but also is a very vocal in the battle for the net and online privacy. As you can imagine, this makes the service one of the best around when it comes to security and privacy. On top of that, it's also very fast and does an okay job of getting past the Netflix VPN ban, though it won't get you into Hulu or Amazon Prime. So far for the cons, but attentive viewers will have noticed that we're not mentioning price, an important selling point for Pia. There is a reason for that. Until March 2019, you could get a year of Pia for $40 and two years for $70. The two-year plan wasn't really all that hot because for the same amount, you can get two years with NordVPN or CyberGhost, two services that are simply better than Pia. That $40 per year deal though was just great for cash strapped people that want to stay safe on the internet and maybe even stream a little bit. It really was a great niche in the market. Pia just isn't as good as the other players around, but by offering a year's worth of service for just $40, they filled up the space between the AAA players and the free VPNs that usually just sell your data onto marketeers. With that in mind, you can imagine our surprise when we received an email from Pia mid-March of this year announcing they were raising their prices. And by that, we mean jacking them up by almost double. Now, one year of Pia costs over 70 bucks and two years is almost 85. This is just too much for a VPN that doesn't stream as well as others do and also has an interface that is just a pain to use. Though it's not as annoying as it used to be, your main interaction with a program will be through a small window which can't be resized and has a lot, we would say, too much information in it. It's also only accessible via the system tray, which some may also find a hassle. The settings screen, however, is a breath of fresh air with clear instructions and large, easy to use slides and the like. The first option you may want to consider is changing from dark mode to light, as the light version makes everything, including the main app, much easier to use. The upshot of this review is that Pia is no longer the service it used to be thanks to this price hike. If you need a service that offers an affordable annual plan, we recommend Winscribe, which will only set you back $50 per year. If you have a bit more money to spend, we recommend you go for either CyberGhost or NordVPN, which will give you three years of service for around 100 bucks a way better deal considering they're just as secure and get you into all streaming services you can think of. I've added reviews to all these services as well as Pia in the description below so you can browse at your leisure. If you like our way of reviewing, make sure to like and subscribe this video for more original content. Also, check out the rest of our channel for the best and latest on cloud software. Thanks for watching and I hope we see you again very soon.